Kun Tun Satit, you have heard that old soldiers never die. But today, I saw an old politician who never dies, Kun Sanot Tien Tong, who... He's coming full circle today, <laughs> yes. resting his hands again with the yes. people who uh -huh. he used to accuse uh -huh. when he was joining the PAD rally. Uh -huh. Sanot Tien Tong, the leader of Prachaurat Party, has now joined Pua Thai Party. Along with his... Uh, his son and mm -hmm. what nephew and what niece. Mm -hmm. So four of them will be running in the election under the Pura Thai Party banner. Now what happens to his own party then? It, he just abandoned it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, yes, just like that. Walking, walking out, out of out. your own party? Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But then what happened to the other MPs or former MPs who used to be attached to his party? Then we have to find their own way out in, in, in this election. Mm -hmm. he, he just need some place for his uh, his son to to be run mm -hmm. under mm -hmm. and, so, and he think that Pure Thai Party offer a better chance for him mm -hmm. and his uh, children mm -hmm. it's also you know a very clever way of uh, investment I think uh, political investment which is close leading to financial investment and that is if he put his children or nephews or Niece. you know, nieces uh, under Pua Thai party, then he can save a lot of his own personal investing. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> because and for the Pua Thai party, they'll have him as the main guy for the Northeast uh, mm -hmm. uh, Legion. Mm -hmm. So it's a win-win situation it's for win -win Taksim situation. and uh, Sanok Tien Tong. Yes. And Sanok doesn't have to explain why he used to accuse Taksim of uh, very bad <laughs> things. Well, I, I don't think he doesn't know himself. I, I, I think he doesn't know himself what to explain because uh, uh -huh. first he was criticizing Taksin uh -huh. and then he criticized opponents of Taksin. Right. And then he... I, I'm consuming myself. <laughs> I don't know how to explain so not to talk myself. Right, so he it's has really, stopped. He's coming full circle. Yeah, he has come full circle and he has given up trying to explain to people. No. Where he stands. Mm -hmm. I, I remember was that he he once told uh, mm -hmm. a group of editors, including myself, that he <laughs> yeah. was so ashamed of himself that he was on the same stage with Taksin. Really? Raising his hand and declaring Taksin to be a very good prime minister. And then he went on to the yellow shirts stage. Yeah, yes. And then he was giving hell to Taksin. Mm -hmm. And then now he's back onto Taksin's stage. Mm -hmm. and accusing the red shirts or yellow, yellow, shirts, yellow shirts of uh, not you know, p being patriotic enough or whatever. Mm -hmm. So that is a very, very... I think this is only the first of a lot of you know, developments that you should keep a close watch <laughs> on. This is not the end yet. Not the end yet. I, no. I, I have the same <laughs> feeling. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So what is going to happen to the red shirts now that the Dupont is behind bars? What will happen on the 19th of May? We have checked many sources in the red shirt, and uh, all of them are saying the same thing, that mm -hmm. they want the election to mm -hmm. happen. So mm -hmm. on the May 19th, next Thursday, mm -hmm. they're going to be very peaceful. Uh -huh. Although this marks the first anniversary of the crackdown mm -hmm. on the larger Brasong area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there, there would be a lot of people coming to commemorate a day. But it would be peaceful. Peaceful, and then they will, in, they will try to end it mm -hmm. on the same day. They would not move the rally to anywhere else. Because it's to the benefit of the Red Shirts and the Pua Thai Party mm -hmm. and Taxi China what that the election is held on yes. July the 3rd, that there's no interruption, no disturbances that would give any excuse for those who do not want an election to take exactly. place to yes. exercise their mm -hmm. intervention, whatever. Yes, mm -hmm. so next week would be peaceful. And we have to, I think we have to wait until next week to see whether Kun Ying Lak yeah, we'll where be. was Kun Ying Lak? Because I was hoping to see her with Kun Sanok Sanok. today. Everyone was expecting the same thing. But she Everyone. did not appear. She did not appear. Some, some, some sources close to Kun Sanok said that she called him. Mm -hmm. She made a phone call to him and said that, uh, please join our party. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be there by myself because I haven't been officially mm -hmm. uh, declared, uh, mm -hmm. you know, for whatever position. Right. So she just made a phone call to Kun Sanok. But we still don't know whether she's going to be number one on the party list. No, and what another, another interesting development today was that Kun Yong Yut himself, right. the party leader, yes. he appeared uh, with Kun Sano on behalf of the Pura Thai Party. And mm -hmm. that makes us think a little bit interesting because Kun, Kun Yong Yut himself, we, all, we, we, we know that he is in the party list. Also. Of course, he will be on the party list, but you know, the ranking is the mm -hmm. question. He's number two. 
Uh, what about Prachap? The, the, the latest we know, he is really high up on the party list. Well, he's the, and, for his uh, loyalty. Young Youth and Kun Prachap Pumnok are really high up. So um, there, there's some rumors, some gossip today about whether Kun Ying Lak is already, uh, whether she has already been uh, nominated for. Uh, well, you know, this is very confusing to me because mm. last week it was about, uh, in the beginning, 50% Ying Lak. And then, and then two days later, it was about 80%. Mm -hmm. And then yesterday, it was 100% Jing Lang. And Not today, today, I think it's going back to what, 75%? Yes, because she failed to, uh, she failed to appear at Kun Sun home today. Mm -hmm. So that's why, how, how the separation uh, coming back. Well, I can understand Kun Tak Sin. He has to think very carefully and he has to weigh the pros and cons. And everything is so sensitive. Every little move could affect the next move. So have sympathy with Kun Thaksin, who is making a big, big decision.